Okay. Okay, it's like one minute to seven. I'm going to call the Town of Batavia Planning Board meeting to order for Tuesday, October 4th. Roll call, please, Don. Paul Marchese? Here. Paul McCullough? Don Partridge is here. John Long? Here. Steve? Brooks? Brittany? Jennifer? Here. Kathy? Here. Okay, I'm going to um, designate Jen as a voting member tonight uh, for the people that have reasons not to be here tonight. Did everyone look at the minutes of the previous meeting from uh, September 20th? Mm -hmm. I didn't, is there any additions or corrections? No. I'd entertain a motion to mm -hmm. approve. Second. I'll second. Okay, we, we got a motion by John, seconded by Jen. That's fine. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Thank you. Okay, the, for, before we get into our agenda, we uh, have public comment on agenda items. Would anyone like to speak tonight? Yes. Yes, Brian. Hi. Mad Madigan? Yes. Okay, you got that? Oh, yo, you got that. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, my secretary's over here today. Sure. Uh, so my name is Brian Madigan. Uh, we're the applicant uh, for the Pike Road and Alexander Road solar projects. Um, so I wanted to take this opportunity to uh, explain some of our perspective and maybe recap the conversation about the host community agreement. I think that there might be some confusion about our diligence in trying to come to an agreement and um, and so there's some emails here I wanted to uh, pass around for the board to see um, could you also give a copy to Sharon White she's a board member a town board member sure um, thank you we've got extra ones up here so I'll just e yeah let's, let's see extra. that she gets one sure I'll put the extras on. Oh, you probably can't reach it at first. So, um, first just maybe a little uh, context around what the host community agreement is. Um, it's a way for the town to receive compensation from the developer or the applicant uh, for bearing the burden of the project. Um, and so it's, it's uh, typically in the form of uh, financial compensation, either uh, an upfront one lump sum payment or ongoing uh, annual payment. And so uh, I know that the, the town has a new solar ordinance. Um, and so I wanted to state specifically what that ordinance says. Um, it says these systems may be eligible for a solar energy system pilot and will require a host community agreement as determined by the town board. So that is a separate, distinct, and other entity from the planning board. Um, so it doesn't say that the host community agreement has to be decided upon in order for the planning board to make a decision. It just says that the applicant should come to an agreement for a host community agreement with the town board. So I just want to be very clear that the ordinance does not explicitly require the planning board to have any input on the host community agreement. So that said, um, a recap on our conversations with town staff about the host community agreement. I first got uh, word that the town would be potentially re uh, asking us for host community agreement um, in Steve Mountain's email or uh, comment letter on July 27th. Um, I asked him to please clarify if, uh, they had, if the town had a template for uh, what that host community agreement would look like or what the town would like to see in terms of funds. Um, and I didn't get a response for two weeks. So it was August 10th and it took me emailing the town and saying, hey, uh, we'd like a response. We'd like to make sure that we are being responsive to this concern along with several others. And um, he, didn't, he didn't write back until August 10th. He said, no, the town doesn't have a template for this type of thing because it is our first one. So uh, my colleague Anthony uh, arranged a meeting with several town staff members as well. I think, Kathy, you were there on September 6th to actually discuss the host community agreement. Uh, the town attorney, Kevin Earl, was there. And um, shortly thereafter, I uh, talked with our attorney, Hodgson Russ, or uh, Chuck Malcolm of Hodgson Russ, 
and we drafted a host community agreement. So we provided those draft terms uh, to the town on September 15th. Um, I didn't get a reply. I didn't get a reply uh, at all. And we then met uh, for the next planning board meeting on the 20th, where I voiced my concern around the timing of trying to get to an agreement on the host community agreement, because it does also involve Genesee County IDA, or Economic Development Corporation. So there are three different entities, four if you count the planning board and the town board. That's a lot of people to coordinate. And given the amount of time from July 27th to today, where we have been working in good faith, continuously calling, emailing, asking staff for feedback, and not receiving a lot of information in return, uh, I don't think it's likely that we're going to settle on a final number for our host community agreement anytime within the next two weeks. So I'm asking respectfully that the planning board adhere to the ordinance and read what it says. It says a, an agreement as determined by the town board. It doesn't say that you need to approve or opine or have any input. It's just that we have to come to an agreement with the town board and it can definitely be a condition of approval that we execute before building permit. And uh, I think that makes sense. It's a fair compromise. It means that we're not gonna construct these projects unless we come to an agreement with the town board before we pull a building permit. It's as simple as that. And it, to me, that seems very reasonable and a, a fair compromise because this is now our fifth meeting. We, we turn these uh, applications in in June this year. Uh, it's now October. Um, I have made several trips. My colleague has made several trips. I'm not asking to go outside what the ordinance requires. I'm just saying please uh, do the right thing. Uh, hopefully please make a fair assessment of what the language actually says. Uh, we will continue to negotiate and work in good faith, and um, the town will get its money. I mean, it's as simple as that. That's what the host community agreement is there for. It's for the town to get money out of the developer. And we're not saying no. We're just saying it's not going to happen with all these different groups trying to come to an agreement. And so to hold up our special use permit just isn't fair. Hold up our building permit. We will do that. We will get it done before building permit, but we have been before this board many times now, and I'm just hopeful that um, you can see the, the reasonable outcome is not holding up the host community agreement for a decision on the special use permit. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> Would anyone else like to speak? Yes, sir. Uh, Chair, members of the board, my name is uh, Charles Malcolm. I represent the applicant for the solar projects. Um, Mr. Madigan is my client. Um, I think he covered most of the points, but I do want to emphasize a couple of things um, that he referenced. First of all, I do want to note my client's diligence with respect to trying to address these specific issues. I know that, you know, when the town indicated that they were going to request a host community agreement, Brian was contacting me repeatedly. You know, the town wants to get this done. Um, here's the communications we're having with Steve Mountain. Can you, you know, he, here's the, uh, can you come up with an agreement template? The town doesn't have anything. We drafted something. We got it over immediately. Brian has been sending email after email trying to get follow-ups. Um, we sent emails, and I, I don't want to throw anyone under the bus here, but we've sent correspondents asking for uh, conference calls to try and work through these issues. We knew um, from past experience at meetings that um, we wanted to try and resolve this before we get to the point where we come here again and nothing gets resolved. So um, we've made every effort to do that. I think we understand what's really going on here and that's that the town wants to use the land use of discretionary approvals of the planning board, the site plan approval and the special use permit as some sort of leverage in the negotiations. And I get that. We're all adults here. We all know what's happening. Um, so I think Brian's point, and that's well made, is that you can still do that 
do it at the building permit stage because right now the delays are harming my client, harming their schedule, harming their ability to get their incentives from NYSERDA. And it's basic, it's costing my client money to have to continuously come to these meetings when we're coming here now and having our permit held up for something that's not a planning board issue. The host community agreement under the ordinance and just as a matter of zoning and planning, it's not a planning board matter. You're not negotiating the terms of the host community agreement. The town board is. You're not going to vote to approve the host community agreement. The town board will. So those issues are not planning board issues. They're not land use issues. They're not zoning issues. And so to, to basically say, well, we've been told not to vote on your application because <coughs> the host community agreement isn't resolved, that's just inappropriate in my view. And I think the law supports that. So. I think our request, respectfully, is that you vote to approve our application and make a condition that before a building permit is pulled, that these issues get resolved and an acceptable host community agreement is approved by the town board before the building permit is pulled. I think that's an appropriate resolution with respect to this matter. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, Dan Bruder. Uh, solar project at 9071 Alexander Road and um, I would just like to kind of add to this though that um, you know I've done a little research on, on this as well and what um, found that other communities you know that did not tie their board approval of, of solar projects to the finalization of their host community agreements instead you know those uh, projects were approved in in uh, with the stipulation that the host community agreement be negotiated and completed in good faith. So, you know, I I understand. Um, you know, this is what's happening here, but I just wanted to make a note that other communities that have solar have done the exact same thing, and they've kept it separate from board approval. Mm -hmm. um, they've they've done this and approved. Uh, the projects to go forward um, in a side stream uh, and that uh, the host community agreements get negotiated in good faith. So, um, you know, just so you know that there are others that have had to um, do the same thing that the town of Batavia is doing right now, um, you know, wanting to get this host community agreement done, but um, it, it's been kept totally separate from the planning board stage, so that's all. Thank you. <clears throat> Anyone else? Okay, we'll go on with our, with our agenda. Okay, the first thing on the agenda is the application for a site plan review and special use permit for a number one type road solar project. Um, just as recent as a, a about an hour ago, I talked to the county or the town attorney. I talked to uh, a board member, and uh, she got back to me after she talked to the acting supervisor. And I have been told not to take any action tonight until they they come up with it. I understand what you're saying, and you make a very good argument. Until you come up with what? Before be, they have to come up with the the host agreement before we can take any action. And I don't think any one of you would act against your attorney's advice. I, I really don't think you would. And, and while I understand exactly what you're saying, I think you make a really, really good argument. And probably everyone here agrees. And, and you're all, you all can, say, can give your input. Please feel free to do that. But um, I won't go against the attorney. And I don't believe you would either. If your attorney said don't do it tonight, you wouldn't either. Uh, yes. So I, as I expressed in the previous meeting, I have serious doubts that the host community agreement will be agreed upon in two weeks. It wasn't agreed on in the last two weeks, and it's not going to be agreed on in the next two weeks. And I was so told they're going to have it done. I'm respectfully requesting that uh, the 
town consider making the host community agreement a condition of the building permit. That is fair and reasonable. It's in fact what I wrote in my email to Steve Mountain on August 29th, the, the day after I got his email. The original, or excuse me, July, whatever, it doesn't matter. But th that was my first comment back to him. So I'm, yes. Chuck's going to talk for me. He's better. <laughs> I, I think I think what Brian is saying is we get the sense what you just made a statement as to what the board's going to do tonight um, that you're not taking action on the advice of your attorney. Um, so you've told us that you're not doing it based on the host community agreement. My client is indicating that he's concerned that based on the past experience and the need to involve other parties we don't have control over, namely. The, the Genesee County IDA, because there's going to be a need to involve them in this process too, um, that two weeks may not be enough. So could you consult with your council about the proposal that we have communicated to you today and whether it would be acceptable that instead of continuing to hold up our special use permit and site plan approvals, if you could make that a condition of approval um, prior, in other words, the host community agreement gets resolved and voted on and approved by the town board before the building permits pull. So the town essentially can, can maintain its leverage in the negotiations, but we can still move forward and we can stop having to come before your board where you tell us, well, we can't do anything again this week. And we can stop, you know, having, you know, this kind of discussion if we don't have uh, another resolution in the next two weeks. That's my ask, I guess, is to go back to your attorney. I have already asked them. I asked them that today. Could, could we vote on it? I don't, want, to, I don't want you to tell me what your attorney tells you, uh, just because I don't, I don't want you to divulge confidential communications. But I guess my, my request would be you discuss that with your attorney. Well, I was assured that they're going to make every effort to have it done in two weeks. Our next meeting is October 20th, and they said they would have it done by then. And make every effort to have it done. 18th. 18th. Yes. Um, since I flew all the way here and I'm here, um, I would like to, to understand if the modifications that we made to the site plan um, and the visual simulations um, are acceptable to the planning board because. I see those as the substantive land use related issues that are the purview of this board. And so I, I, am, I want to address any concerns that the board may have for those. So can you I, I, I appreciate your, I went over them this past week and I think you did a good job. And I, I personally see no reason these couldn't be approved on the way we're going right now. I agree. And in fact, I feel, we probably aren't, I think I'm ready to vote at the next meeting. With, if we have to, if they don't have the host agreement in next meeting, I would say contingent of the host agreeing agreement. So I'm willing to do that at the next meeting. Approve everything contingent of the host agreement. I think we're all ready to vote, yeah. but I won't go against the attorneys. I agree. I agree. You know, I just, I you know, if the attorney's telling us something, the same thing next month, next two meetings, and I doubt we better get his act together. Because you need, we've got you up long enough. Thank you. We need to get this done. So, we're not prepared tonight, but I think that the next, I, you know, I was prepared tonight to read the process right. when I got here. But I, I'm ready to vote for it, and we'll wait till the next meeting, we'll vote for it. That's what I can tell you, best I can do tonight. Now, this is nothing against your project. Right. Yeah. That's why my head's about ready to explode. And mine too. <laughs> I know. Well, I know. Well, I, I well, can't. The last meeting, we didn't have a site plan either, so we had to review those, so it couldn't have been. We couldn't have approved the last well, we, no. Yeah, we weren't going to do that at right. the last meeting, right. so. Right. And, and, and we do it step by step. And the, what you saw on the agenda is what we were going to do tonight. But based on the attorney's uh, advice, we are not going to. And um, I would entertain a motion 
to table the, the first item on the agenda till October 20th. Uh, Paul Marchese, seconded by Jen. Roll call, please, Dan. Paul? Oh. Yes. Uh, Jennifer? Yes. Kathy? Yes. John? Yes. And I vote yes. Okay, I'd entertain a motion. Uh, uh, that motion was carried. Uh, entertain a motion for the second uh, number seven Alexander Road Solar Project to tables till the next meeting so on October 20th. Moved by John. Second. Seconded by John. Roll call, please. John? Yes. Jennifer? Yes. Paul? Yes. Kathy? Yes. And I vote yes. Okay. Yes. Just one last thing. I'm wondering, um, would it be possible for the town attorney to attend the next meeting just so we're yes. all in the same room at the same time? And I wish I could have had him here tonight, but I, I will. I will ask him to come to the next meeting. Okay. Um, so we will see you again on October twentieth. And, and I do believe that we have all 18, the information. 18, 18, 18. Oh, was it the 18th? I kept 18, saying the 20th. 18, 18, 18. Change that to the 18th. 18. I don't have a calendar in front of me. Sharon, did you want to say anything? About this? Say anything about uh, how it's coming along, the agreement? I don't. I don't know. I know they're working on it. That's okay. And mind you guys, you know, this solar law is, is a new part of our, our code now so you're pretty much the first project that has to deal with the new regulations and unfortunately I you know sometimes things take a little longer than that and I get it I understand where you're coming from because I've been on the other end of the project side and doing stuff in my building downtown so it's I get it and sometimes that's not acceptable that, that just happens to me, that's not acceptable. You've had two years of more to well, in here now. No, we haven't. It's we been in front of us since the year. But and still, you know, it's it's been. It's been yeah, pl please don't. Let's not argue. Let, let's not argue because what you. I don't believe if your attorney said not to do something that that you would do it. So let's just leave it at that for now. I I'm sorry. I'm sorry it happened to you. And. Uh, me too. We're going to do everything we can to get it done on the 18th of October. Okay. I also want you to know that uh, our engineer had surgery and uh, he is, he's been out. So I didn't know if you knew that. And, and our zoning officer is also out sick. Yes, I know it's quite So that sometimes makes a little difference too. It should, it's just the way it is. I'm sorry. And I, I hate to see anyone go away mad because we our meeting's coming up in, in two weeks and we're ready to vote. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Did you have anything you wanted to tell us, anything new? Me? No, no uh, I forgot your name. Uh, I think Brian touched on the, the things as far as the, uh, the poles, the, the lead vegetation, the revised uh, photo sim so you'll have those all the ch changes that you requested were made and um, i think we've addressed everything that's open so we leave those here if you want sure. yeah. these are the larger scale versions of everything that was in the past couple submissions the new site plans for both sites and then the large photo sims which show that you can't see the project from route 98. Okay. Feel these take them and we can keep them here until next meeting Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you all. Okay. Next item on our agenda is a zoning officer report. We do not have anyone from the staff here tonight because of what I said. There's illness in, in the two of the members. One uh, one thing I did notice they put the sign up on the 
be really smart yeah. again, and it's still still wrong. No, no it's fixed. No, Is it fixed now? Fix yeah, but I came back to bed, it's fixed, no. but the lights are flashing. The lights are not. Oh, yes. No. The lights on my way. I was going to bring that up to Dan as well when he really didn't mean Yeah, I was going to bring it up tonight, too, but the light, the sign was, they must have just fixed it today, because when I went by to the soccer game, it wasn't fixed, and when I came back here, it was fixed. When they had the the moving video. Yeah, no, we can't have that. It is, it's flashing around the door, and on the, like, all along the top ledge. So yeah. the they windows the, aren't, but there are flashing lights. Oh, no, they, they have the windows, like, uh, I want to say Sunday or Saturday. Oh, all, did they? So I must be changing. No, they, we were very clear it about that. Yeah, it was bad. Yeah, I'm, like, I'm like, especially no, that corner. No, they just changed that sign today. It's yeah. going to cause yeah. a massive accident. Yeah, yeah it, it's <laughs> just, <laughs> Okay, well, I'll, uh, I'll call someone tomorrow. If Dan's not in, I'll, I'll yeah. tell Matt. Okay. Yeah, um, my report, I really have nothing, nothing tonight except to keep encouraging you to do any training you can because we all need three hours of training before the end of the year. And if you already have it, that's great. Okay. Anything, Sharon? Um, we have a preliminary budget in place. And uh, looks like our tax rate is going to go down. It's going to go to 236 and it was 251. That's good. Better. Good, good job. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, a motion to adjourn, Jim? Uh, my motion to adjourn the meeting. Second. Second by Paul. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you. And Dan, thank you very much for taking the minutes. Thank tonight. you, Dan. Absolutely. <laughs> made the meeting short, didn't you? <laughs> yeah.